Hey data fans, Reid here. Today, I'm gonna to show you another useful way to enhance the native line chart visual. Specifically, I wanna show you how to change the line color when passing values between positive and negative values, giving a stronger KPI indicator of the two types of values. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So the technique for this one is actually pretty straightforward. What I'm using at the moment is an area chart, but you could also have done this as well on a line chart. But basically what I did is I created two different measures, one for sales positive and one for sales negative. So if I actually deleted either one of these, there you go, you can see that there is just the positive number showing, or in the case of the negative one, only the negative numbers showing. So let me actually show you the measures there first. If I come up and open my DAX folder, and let's take a look at sales negative, and it's actually a very simple calculation it's basically taking the sales amount and just doing an if statement. If the sales amount is less than zero, actually return the sales amount, otherwise return zero. So I'm gonna quickly dissect this chart right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my sales positive. There we are. You can see that it basically is zeroing out whenever those positive bars would have been here. And I also have a black line covering all of this that I'll show you how I add it in a second, but that's how I basically do the positive and negative is I just have two slices of this that in the format painter, can then be colored different conditional formatting colors, green for positive, red for negative. And the only other thing that I did is I added a y-axis constant line in here to make this look a little bit cleaner. So let me show you what that is. Come over to the analytics pane, notice that I have a y-axis constant line. If I get rid of this, you'll actually see that all of the times that I do a zero value for that threshold change between positive and negative, it either shows the red or greens in those areas. And I didn't like that look just as much. So with the addition of a y constant line, if I go back and add that back in there, here we are. You can see that that is showing up in here and covering all of the values in there. And I also did notice, by the way, the value has to be set to something besides just zero. If I set it to zero, it doesn't actually show for anything. So 0 0.1 or anything else, as long as it's not an absolute zero, then it will put that onto that line. And obviously when looking at 23 million or anything else, 0.1 and zero is essentially the same thing. It just has to have something that is not an absolute zero in here. Um, so to me, I think it's a little bit of a bug, but otherwise, as you can see, it shows up into there. But again, I think this is a very useful technique to be able to, to show the polarization between the two values, add a little bit of a color KPI just to help easily see when those numbers go above and below a line. And it's just one more way to kind of enhance a line visual. And there's a lot of other different things that you've seen in other videos that I've had as well, where you add high and low KPI indicators and a few others. So now I'm actually gonna show what this looks like in combination with a couple of other techniques that I've done in other videos as well. Come down to the area chart conditional formatting. Now, what I've done is I've combined the chart with the positive and negative with a previous video that I did for KPI indicators. In this case, I can have both the colors, plus now I can also call out the highs and lows. I can call out the first and last. I can call out both. So really, you can stack these on and really add a lot of different value to the line or area charts in Power BI with just a little bit of DAX formatting magic. Um, again, if you're curious about the KPI indicators shown here, that wasn't a different video, so I will go ahead and link you to that in the description down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.